Hi, I'm Alia. I'm going into my third year. I study HSPS at Selwyn College. Hi, my name is Ashfaq. I'm studying at Churchill College. I just finished three years of studying chemistry and I'm about to start my masters. Hi guys, my name is Chiazza. I do English at Homerton College and I've just finished my first year. Yo, my name is Patrick Silla and I've just graduated from material science from the University of Cambridge, Jesus College. Hi, I'm Sajina and I just graduated from the University of Cambridge. I studied law at Fitzwilliam College. Hi guys, my name is Ibrahim Mohammed and I study psychological and behavioural sciences at Wolfson College. I'm about to go into my final year at Cambridge University. Um, I'm originally from um, East Africa in Uganda, but I live in London and specifically Harrow. My ethnic heritage is I'm Bangladeshi, but I was born and raised in Maidstone, Kent. Uh, my ethnic background is that I was born in Namibia and then I lived in Zimbabwe for a while and then I came to the UK when I was four years old and ever since then I've been living in Hounslow, West London. My ethnic heritage is that my dad is from Senegal in West Africa, my mum is from Ireland, but I am from Hounslow, West London. My parents are from Bangladesh and I grew up in Tower Hamlets in East London. My mum is Pakistani and my dad is Bangladeshi, but I was born and raised in Hackney, East London. My perception of Cambridge was that it wasn't a space or a university or an institution available for me or people like me. My perception of Cambridge before applying was posh and nerdy. It was maybe not that diverse, maybe for a certain type of people or class. I hadn't known that much about what the student reality of being at Cambridge is like because you kind of just see prospectuses. So I was really anxious about getting here and not seeing people like myself. My perception of Cambridge before I attended was that it was not very diverse and that people wouldn't be very fun and everyone would just be very studious and very clever and posh. I think I realised what my original perception of Cambridge was, was just a stereotype. Um, but actually when I came here I found there are spaces no matter what background you're from, no matter what race or class. Coming to Cambridge, I've met so many different people. Um, people who look like me, but people who don't. And that's been great because I've learned so much from all of my peers here. And I think that everything I thought of Cambridge was just a bad stereotype of it. I did have one teacher who believed in me and said to me, apply to Cambridge, you have what it takes. You're predicted A star AA, why not just do it? And at first I thought, you were crazy, but you know what? Miss Jill Bucock, who was my sociology teacher, was right, and now look, I'm here. For some people, their subject is a part of them, and I'm one of the, those people where that my subject, English, is a part of me. I think a big thing that convinced me to apply to Cambridge was the academics here. I think I was a person who really liked studying politics and I was really interested in it, and I thought, why let all of my negative stereotypes prevent me from something that I should aim for and that I am able to aim for. I remember coming into Homerton and kind of like doing that look around like where are the people like me and at first that is like really daunting when you don't see people like you. I cried for my first two weeks pretty non-stop. Coming to university is always going to be difficult either way because you don't know anyone you've always kind of got to be switched on and like try and make your friends and stuff like that. So on one level it was easy to meet our brand new people, a lot of new people but on the other level I was finding maybe a bit difficult at the beginning to find people I connected with, maybe from a similar background to me. Where I'm from in Hounslow is like the most, like super ethnically diverse, so like I'm not really a minority there. So that was unusual at times being like, oh okay, like I'm the only guy that's not like white here. And I actually hated it. I called my mum on my second day and I was like, you've got to pick me up because I'm going to go home right now. I'm going to call the cab. Um, but then after two weeks, um, it just kind of, I think by December, I felt Cambridge was home. Luckily, on my first day here, I found someone who was similar to me, I guess, and we just hit it off and we became friends, and I had that as an anchor to keep me going. I was quite confident in the sense that because I got really good grades, I deserve a space there as anybody else. So this imposter syndrome that a lot of people may have, I never really had that because I believed in myself. And because I had a good community back home, my friends constantly believing me, I settled in really well. 
be patient with yourself. Don't think that after the first week, this is gonna be the best place ever and this is the best time of your life. Because I think those kind of ideas about university aren't necessarily true at first. Especially, I think what helped me the most were my tutors and my DOS. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but everyone's just so nice. Like, that's the only thing I could say. Make sure you do go home if you wanna go home. It's fine if you do. Um, call your family, call your friends. That's, that's nice, take comfort in that. But also don't let that stop you from trying new things. And one day at a time and just remember it takes time and everyone really is in the same boat. So what really helped me settle in was the fact that I found common ground with people and so you know there were some people that went drinking and that was fine but there were some people that stayed behind with me and we drank tea and just talked and then I got involved with loads of um, societies like ISOC and Bangasoc and I think they really nurtured me and helped me feel at home and so throughout my first year I think I did stay a lot with the cultural societies but that really helped me build like a home in Cambridge and then I've ventured out a bit more and got involved with other societies and just became a lot more confident. Only in like second year kind of did I start doing like comedy and going to like hip hop society nights and that's when I started to meet people that were like really like minded to me. It just takes time to find the people that kind of click with you and once you get there then you're laughing. Then I joined the board game society and the plant society and the knitting society and I actually realised you know what this place is perfect for me. I think sometimes it's about looking beyond the race aspect, which is an important aspect, but you need to realise that when you come here, you meet people, not skin colours, if that makes sense. Like you interact with people, which is really important. I think the moment I realised Cambridge was for me is when I actually graduated and left because I think I had this persisting feeling of imposter syndrome whilst I was here, and so to leave Cambridge with a 2 1. At that moment I just knew that I'd made it but I think it was a bit late to feel like I'd settled in. So I think it was when I went home um, in December that I realised I was actually happy at Cambridge and I was actually comfortable at Cambridge and I think it's because by the end of my first term I had met really cool people so I had, had I was got on with the people at my college, the work was hard but I was starting to kind of get what they wanted from me and I also met people who I really did relate to at places like Islamic Society. So once I had a base there, I think I started to feel comfortable to be me. And you know, when you find people and people who will be your friends for life, they'll accept you for whoever you are. And it's just finding those people. And once they're found, because you will find them eventually, you kind of feel happy again. But also like after my first year, I did have a good group of friends to support me and help me through things. So it wasn't awful throughout the three years, but I think when I graduated, I knew that I it was my place and I'd done myself justice. One day um, I was walking in the corridor and I overheard my neighbours speaking and the way I speak is very particular and um, it, they were like not mimicking me but it showed me that um, we had exchanged so much um, and we'd been around each other so much that we were starting to pick up mannerisms or the way we talk from each other so just seeing that kind of cultural exchange was really nice to me. I think I started to feel like I could really be comfortable here when I started going to things like hip-hop society events and that's when I saw like a lot of probably people who were from London maybe from ethnic minority backgrounds and they were like into hip-hop because like, I love hip-hop I like make rap music and stuff stuff myself so it gave me a chance to perform but also to be around other people who probably like-minded, maybe have similar upbringings to me and I was like, yeah, this, this could easily be in London. These people are like my friends back home, so yeah. Sometimes you create your own barriers, which is what I did, and when I realised that those ex barriers, um, especially with the people I was living with, weren't there, that's just when I felt comfortable to be myself. I was in the kitchen listening to my Afro beats, like when I was cooking and like people would come in and I'd like recommend songs for them and like we'd listen and just, exchange things with each other and I think that's such a nice moment where you realise that you're comfortable in this environment and there are people that you'll find where you can just get along with genuinely. <laughs>
be diverse in student body, you have to be diverse in curriculum as well, which is really important for people. But I think having a more diverse curriculum to actually reflect the diversity of the world. A lot of the people we study are just are centered around this Eurocentric academic perspective. And it would be great if we could go beyond that and look at other thinkers who aren't just old white men. I think to increase the intake of like ethnic minorities and the perception like ethnic minorities in general have of Cambridge, I think it is just like sh kind of shining a light on the students that are here. Like the Stormzy scholarship, I thought it was the sickest thing because it, I saw on platforms that I look at and all of my friends look at like FBTV, Link Up TV, GRM Daily and stuff. And that's showing someone, everyone looks up to Stormzy and they're like, he endorses this. So maybe it's not, uh, I shouldn't go there because it's not for someone like me or it's not cool. You're seeing someone you look up to is like, yeah, this is sick. I think that was like the coolest thing, so yeah.